to welcome you all in our maths class. Okay. So already we learned the numbers ones, tens, hundreds, isn't it? So after hundreds we already learned that. For, so first we call recall that numbers. Okay. So ones means what are the numbers in ones? What are the numbers in ones? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 0 up to 9, we call that as 1's, isn't it? 1's numbers. And what are the numbers in 10's? What are the numbers in 10's? 10's means it started as 2 digit numbers, isn't it? So what are the 2 digit numbers? What are the numbers in 10's? 10, 20, which means 10 to 99. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. These are the 2 digit numbers, but I am asking you the 10's values, okay? Tens values, not a two digit values, tens values. Tens means first we write the number and merely we added one zero, isn't it? So those numbers are tens values. So what are the values in tens? What are the tens values? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. So these are the two digit numbers as well as the tens values, isn't it? So these numbers are tens values. Okay, next. Ones over, tens over and the next is hundreds. Very good, hundreds. So what are the numbers in hundreds? Hundreds means it is three digit numbers. Hundreds means it's in three digit numbers, isn't it? So it's a three digit numbers. What are the numbers we mentioned that is hundreds? What are the numbers we mentioned as hundreds? Not a three digit numbers, I am asking hundreds values. Hundreds means a number is there. Tens means we added one zero, but it's in hundred means we add two zero. Okay, that is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800 and up to 900. So these are the hundreds values, isn't it? So ones value is over, tens value is over and hundreds value is over. And what is the last value in 100? Last value in 100 is 900, isn't it? So, 900. 900. So, what is the last 3 digit number? It's the highest 3 digit number. Highest 3 digit number means? Okay. Highest 1 digit, single digit number. That is 9. It's a single digit number. And highest 2 digit number? 2 digit number means 2 9. 99. And same as highest three digit number? 990. 999. This is the highest three digit number. So when we add one, one with this number, when we add one with this number, we got, we got 9 plus 1, 10. So 9 plus 1, we got when we add one number to a single digit number, we got two digit number. So when we add one number to the two digit number, we got 99 plus 1, 9 plus 1, 10. 9 plus 1, 10. When we add one to a two digit number, we got three digit number. The same as when we add one to the three digit number, we got four digit number. That's very good. And, and we got four digit number that is thousand, one thousand. Okay, so this is ten, hundred, thousand, one thousand. So now in this class, we are going to learn the numbers up to thousand, the numbers up to thousands. Okay, so already we learned the places ones, tens, hundreds. So one more place is there, thousands. Okay, ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Okay, so what are the hundreds? What are the hundreds you know? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. And the next 900 and next 10 hundred, isn't it? So 10 hundred. That one only we are saying as thousand, one thousand. That 10 hundreds we are saying as 
1000. Okay. So, this is 10. 10 hundred we are saying as. So, 10 tens we are saying as. 100. 10 hundred we are saying as. 1000. Okay. Are you clear now? Are you clear? So, today we are going to study about the place values of 1000 place values. Okay. So, already we know the number names, isn't it? 101, 102, 300, 350, 360. So, after 999, we know the number names, isn't it? So, what does the spell for the 1000? 1000, isn't it? So, what does the spell for the 1000? T H O U S A N D. 1000. T H O U S A N D thousand. Okay. So these are the number name. So you, if you don't know the number names, please learn that number names. Okay. And next topic is expanded and standard form. Expanded and standard form. Already you know the expanded and standard form, isn't it? You know that expanded and standard form. Standard means as usual. How we can write the numbers as a standard? Which means 1000 means 1000, 10 means 10, 100 means 100. So how we can write a number as a fixer that is standard. Expanded means we have splitted this number, isn't it? Splitted this number to arrange it. Arrange according to the place values that is expanded. Okay, so that only we are studied as detail in this class. Okay, here I gave two numbers. Okay, that we want to write in an expanded form because it's in a fixed numbers, isn't it? 435, 435 and 523, it's a fixed number. So, it's a standard number, standard form. It's in standard form, okay. So, we want to write it is expanded form. So, we need to expand this number, okay. So, first, what is the first number? 435, okay. What is the first number? 435, okay. So, what are the places you know? What are the place values you know? Ones, tens and hundred, isn't it? So, here we check it. Where we need to start from the ones or hundreds? Ones, okay. We start to count as ones. So, here it's a ones. Tens and hundreds. So, four in hundreds place. Three in tens place. Five in ones place. So, first you write the first number. Four. Four it is in hundreds place. Isn't it? Hundreds means we may add how many zeros? Yes, very good. Two zero. For hundreds we add two zeros. And next it's an expanded form. In between the numbers we need to add plus. Okay, we need to add plus. And next one is the number, next number 3, okay, 3. So in that 3 in, 3 in tens place, isn't it? For tens we need to add how many zero? Only 1. So we add 1 zero. And again we put 1 plus. Again we add 1 plus. And next what is the number? So 5. So you write 5. 5 in ones place, isn't it? So ones place if we add many zeros, no, no need to add the 0. So, with, um, we will need to write as a 5 itself. Okay. So, 4 in hundreds place. So, we write 4 and add 2 more 0. It is the expanded form. It must be write a plus in between the numbers. So, we put on plus. Okay. And the next number is 3. So, that 3 in tens place. So, we add 1 more 0. And next we write the 5. It is in ones place. So, we write the 5 individually. Okay. And the next number is 523. It is in standard form or expanded form? Very good. It's in standard form. Okay. It's in a standard form. So, we need to write in an expanded form. So, I will teach you a simple and easy method for you. Okay. So, this is one way to write the expanded form. And one more way I will teach you. So, here look here. 523. What is the first number? What is the first number here? So 5, isn't it? So you write 5. Okay, and now count how many digits are here. How many digits? After 5, how many digits are here? 1, 2. So we have 2, 0. Okay, and next, it's an expanded form. So we must be put the 
plus. Okay. And second, what is the number? 2. So you write 2. After 2, how many digits are there? Only 1 digit. So we put only 1 zero. And then we put a plus. And next, what is the number? 3. Any other numbers there? No. So we no need to add 0. Okay. Just we write those numbers. Are you understood this? Are you understood uh, how we can write the expanded form from the standard form? Are you clear? So next, from the expanded form, how we write in a standard form? So I will give an example. Okay. 400 plus 0 plus 7. 400 plus 0 plus 7. Okay, so for, what is the first number? It is in hundreds. I said it has 2 zero. So you write that number. Near the number, 2 zeros are there. So we need to know 2 more digits are there. Okay, 2 more digits are there. Let's check the second number. Here it have, it is in tens places, but it have only 0. Okay, how many zeros we are added? The value must be 0 only. So we write that same 0. And next, what is the number? Sub. So we write sub. Okay, and one more example. 900 plus 50 plus 0. Yes, 900 plus 50 plus 0. So what is the first one? 900. So first you write the 9. How many zeros are there? Two zeros. So we must know two more numbers there. What is the second number here? 50. 5 zero. So we write 5. And the next zero is there. Okay. No other numbers are there. So we write the same zero. So what is the number? 950. So we got the number 950. Okay. So in the 407 and 950. These two are the standard form. So whether we expand the number and put uh, including plus, that is an expanded form. So are you clear about the expanded form and standard form? If you have any doubt in expanded and standard form, please ask me. Okay. Now I will give an activity for you for your better understanding. Okay. First to solve the sums in that activity, then only you can easily understand what we can study in the class, in the previous portions also, in the previous class and the now itself, okay. So first you watch that video and now and next you, I will give the sums in your book, so you will find, write the answers in your books, okay. First you watch the video. An activity for you and the activity name is numbers up to thousand okay numbers up to thousand so we will start to play here have some instructions that is help bunny reach the carrots by clicking the correct answer okay bunny means like a rabbit okay so they want to find the treasure so we are giving the correct answer the bunny will get the treasure okay for every correct answer, Bunny will hop over the bridge and for every wrong answer, Bunny will lose a life. The game ends when you answer the questions correctly or lose all lives. Okay. Shall we start? Okay, start. Here. Which number is represented by the given blocks? We know the blocks, isn't it? So, ones box means small boxes. Tens means ten small boxes are there. And... Hundreds means 10, tens are called hundreds, isn't it? So here they are giving hundreds box and ones box. So in the ones box, how many? Four, isn't it? So you check the options in the ones place. In the ones place, if any four is there? Yes. So in the hundreds place, how many box? If any tens box is there? No tens box. So check the hundreds. How many hundreds boxes? Six. So... 6 in the tens place? No. So that is 0. So 6, 0, 4. So where is 6, 0, 4? It's here. Touch it. The rabbit is running. Yes, it crossed the bridge. Now, what is the place value of the underlined digit? So 457. 
so in the under the four underlined isn't it so what is the place value for four yes is it in tens no very good hundreds so in the hundreds means when you are make hundred one zero zero no what is the number in there four so hundreds means we add two zero so four hundred yes now also keep going yes the rabbit cross the bridge well then you all find out correct answer okay okay next which number is represented by the blocks now you count the blocks in the ones blocks how many ones blocks four tens three hundreds four so 434 yes it is in first yes again keep going yes again also you got the correct answer the bunny cross the bridge okay well done and now which number is represented by the blocks now you find in the ones box it's 3 tens 1 hundreds One. So the answer is one hundred thirteen. Yes, again it's going. Yes, very good. It also crossed the bridge. You find the correct answer. Okay, very good students. And now, what is the place value of the underlined digit? Now the underlined digit is zero. So what is the place value? Yes, very good. Tens. Tens means we have mentioned the number as well as added one zero. Here it is a zero only. So well, how many zeros we added? The value is zero. So the answer is zero. Again, it's going on. Yes, again it crossed the bridge. Okay, very good, excellent. You all are find a very correct answers. And now, which of these numbers has the highest place value of three? Highest place value of three. So all the numbers have three, isn't it? So what number has three? The highest place value. The first number. What is the highest place value? Ones, tens, or hundreds? Hundreds is the highest place value. So here, where is three in hundreds? In the first number? No, first number four in hundreds place. Second number? Yes, three in hundreds place. So Which of the number has the highest place value of three? Three hundred sixty-seven. So three hundred sixty-seven. Again, it's going on. Yes, it crossed the bridge and it finally reached the carrot. Okay, so the bunny got the carrot to eat. So he started to eat. Very good. Are you understood what is present in the video? So the numbers, number names, and the place values of the numbers, isn't it? So those those values I have given in your book, page number sixty six. Okay, in your book, page number sixty six. The before pages having few few dashes and a few few fill ups, and you may need to write the number names and count the boxes and that. You may fill that. Okay, fill that values and that uh, page number sixty six. write the full exercises okay write the numbers and the number names missing numbers and the place values okay fill that exercises and study well okay keep okay. practice in your home stay safe and be happy thank you so much okay thank you bye bye